I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. What I pray and what I think about when I think the world has gone crazy. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get our app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, passing the faith to the next generation, oh, we missed. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ring the bell for notifications. Hear that button? And get our app, Google, iTunes, Amazon. We have an app. Check it out. And donate. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things. A youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. It keeps us a rolling. Look. When the world goes cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, when I'm stressed about viruses, and then I get over about stress being stressed about viruses, and then I'm worried about riots and racism, and then I take a breath from that, and people in my life get sick, and then I take a breath from that, and I'm like, God, what else can happen now? Killer, murderous hornets? Really? Tropical storms? And in my town, there's no more Diet Mountain Dew. And look, we don't do videos every day powered by water. There's caffeine in here. When we get there, when I get to that point, what I like to remember is, this, is the Holy Trinity. And what I mean by that is, let's take a look at John 3. 16, 17, and 18. Because um, I, I just, I just want to, everybody knows John 3, 16, but there's something I want to point out to you. Who toss Gar? In this way, in what way? Well, it makes reference to the last thing that was, was discussed, which was what we discussed yesterday, video in the corner over there, on Moses lifting up the snake in the wilderness. And in the same way, uh, God lifts up his son in the wilderness, that whoever believes in his son lifted up on the tree of the cross shall have life. For God loved the world in this way, in the lifting up of his son, in the giving up of his son, in the snake on a stick, Jesus on the cross way, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, so God loved the world this way. He gave up his only begotten son. That all who believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. What kind of God is this? A God who did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, to judge the world, but that the world would be saved through him. And whoever believes in the son is not judged, condemned. But whoever does not believe is already condemned because he does not believe in the name of the only Son of God. So when everything hits the fan for me, when I look at life and I'm like, what could go wrong next? And I'm scared to ask the question because what's going to happen is I'm going to get trumped. I look at these verses and I think to myself, God loves me. And he doesn't love me because I'm lovable. He doesn't love me because I'm such a great guy. And he certainly doesn't love me because of this. In fact, I should be a better guy because of, because of what I do for a living. But in actuality, when I look at myself, I'm so awful, I got to get paid to go to church. That's bad news. And so when I look at the world going crazy, my own sin, my own weakness, my own failures, the thing that comforts me is that God loved the world in the giving up of his son. That God is not neutral to what's going on with me. He's not indifferent to what's going on to me. He sees what's going on me with me and he's acted. And he's acted in lifting up his son on the cross, in the giving up of his son. It doesn't depend upon me. It depends upon Jesus. And God is so for saving me that he didn't send his son in the world to judge me. I should be judged. 
He didn't send his son in the world to condemn me. I should be condemned. He sent his son to save me. In Christ, there is no condemnation. In Christ, I must be saved. And in Christ, I see God for who he truly, truly is. A God who acts in my world to save me. Everything God does, he does in order to rescue me from my sin, from my death, and from the power of the devil. Not with gold or silver, but with his holy precious blood and his innocent suffering and death. I invite you to think about this when everything goes wrong. And you think that the next thing that's going to happen is the straw that breaks the camel's back, the straw that breaks your back. God's not going to bruise that reed, not going to break it, not because of you, because of Jesus. That's the God he is. All you got to do is look at the sake, the Holy Trinity, the father who loves his son and sends him to save you and me, the son who loves his dad and gives up his life for us because his dad commands him to video right there, and the Spirit who makes that known to us in the Word, the water, and in the body and blood of Jesus. I'm Pastor George Borkart. Peace out. And this has been another Higher Things video short.